We're going to go ahead and get started so that please finish your meal. And I want to thank Perry Star for providing the wonderful lunch that we have today. Thank you. Before we get started with the introduction, I do want to announce that there are early image award form on your table. And we did not have one for this quarter, so please take them. And uh, this quarter we are looking at retail services. Okay. The next quarterly image award luncheon will be held on October 15th. And again, we'll focus on retail services. So I'm going to start with introduction. And ask that once you're introduced, please step to the right of the stage and podium for photos, please. Dr. Teresa Riley, Dean of Instruction with Ottawa University, will introduce new staff at OU. Well, good afternoon, good morning, whatever it still is, I don't know. Um, it's my pleasure to be here today. I'm Teresa Crowley, I'm the Dean of Instruction for the College at Ottawa University, and I'm very honored to have the opportunity to introduce four new full-time faculty members. So I will start with Dr. Nella Kohler. She's an assistant professor of education and co-lead faculty for graduate studies, and she's been with OU for eight months. Dr. Guler earned an MA in linguistics at Ohio University and her PhD in English education from the University of Missouri. In addition to her many duties at Ottawa University, Nilfer is the mother of two sons. One is almost eight years old and the other is 18 months old. So she's kidding. Welcome, Nilfer. Dr. Thank you. Dr. Gong Sun is the director of choral music, a position that includes conducting the university concert choir, teaching undergraduate courses, advising and supervising student teachers, recruiting for our music program, and providing outreach to worship life at area churches, so he's also very busy. Dr. Song earned his doctoral in musical arts and choral conducting at the University of Kansas, and just joined our faculty this fall. His wife, Ju Ha Lee, is a professional piano accompanist and will be lending some of her professional talent on a volunteer basis at OU. So, welcome, Dr. Sun. <laughs> Dr. Greg Moore is an assistant professor of finance. He teaches business finance courses and is developing the curriculum for our new finance degree at OU. Greg has taught at OU as an adjunct since 2012 and is now full-time faculty in the Angel Snyder School of Business. Dr. Moore earned his master's degree at the University of Kansas and his PhD at Walden University. Greg is married, he has three children. He's originally from Littleton, Colorado, and he enjoys hiking, biking, running, and the Denver Broncos. <laughs> they know whether to say that proudly or not. That's all right. And our final new faculty member, we sadly just got a, a text from, she is in the yard of her daughter thinking she has chicken pox. So she wasn't able to come today, but I would like to tell you about Maroon Bell, who is an assistant professor of management information and health systems. She teaches MIS classes in the Angel Snyder School of Business in Ottawa. Professor Rao taught at OU for one year as an adjunct and is now full-time faculty. A river current master's in management information systems at Northern Illinois University and is currently pursuing a PhD in health policy at KU Medicine. Professor Rao has two human and two canine children, she says. She has visited 12 countries and has lived in three. So thank you for your time. Join me again in welcoming my, my new colleagues to Ottawa University. Dr. Jeannie Strode, who is the Tanami Superintendent, and is all of the faculty and staff for Tanami. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here, and, and I'd like to thank the Chamber. This is always such a wonderful way to get together and, and, and uh, introduce ourselves to our new people. Uh, I would like for our principal and our new staff to come. Line up right here on 
like a green wine you can never eat the way. My name is Ryan Cobbs, I'm the principal of Ottawa High School, and I'm going to introduce my staff, but I would also like to uh, express my appreciation to our administrative team that is here, Mr. Graff, who is our activities director, if you would give away, as well as Mr. Derek Ryan, who is our assistant principal, does a tremendous job at Ottawa High School. This year we're lucky to have um, very little turnover at our school, which is a tremendous thing, and I think speaks volumes as to what we're doing within our school. 
But we do have three new additions to our teaching staff. Uh, two of them are filling positions that were vacated by uh, another teacher or other teachers that uh, chose to go different directions. Uh, one is a brand new position. So we'll start with Ms. Caitlin Hay. She'll give away there. Caitlin is a graduate from the University of Kansas. She will be a first year teacher for us. Talk shock. I heard somebody out there woohoo. Uh, she'll be teaching mathematics for us, algebra 2 and geometry. Uh, we look forward to great things for Caitlin. Uh, we also have uh, Miss Angie Bradley Butts, who is coming back to us. Uh, Angie worked with us uh, for a number of years in our juvenile detention center, and will now be uh, back in our achievement program. And we look uh, we look forward to the awesome things we're going to do there. We met today and kind of figured some things out, which is going to be awesome for our achievement program. Uh, Angie graduated from Ottawa University as well as the University of Kansas, so we continue to add to our. Uh, our Jay Hawk alumni continue. Uh, our, our last new addition is Lori Howard, who is uh, actually coming to us from Central Heights, and she will be filling a new position that we created uh, for the implementation of one one in the Chromebooks at Ottawa High School. She will be our technology integration coach. Uh, she was a graduate from Rockhurst University and the University of Oklahoma. I don't think nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Lori has already done a great job in a short time at, uh, at Ottawa High School. We have uh, great expectations for, for what is happening over the course of the next year and, and down the road. So we appreciate uh, our new staff members. We give them a round of applause for us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Cox. And from Ottawa Middle School, I'm in Chamber. Good afternoon. I'm glad to be here as well. Thank you very much for the great lunch. It's always fun to see faces I haven't seen all summer and new ones that are in the inner community. Uh, we have actually five, four of them are here, new employees in our building. We have had retires uh, leave our building and we had uh, a teacher also at the end of the summer decide he was going to move closer to home, which I can't blame him, but I, I will still not like him for a long time for doing that. However, we have a wonderful replacement who will do a great job for us. So we're going to start with Mr. Nick Harris. Uh, Nick is coming to us. He is from Baldwin City. He has been in education, and I, I brought notes because I know this stuff. He's been in education for 35 years. He has undergrad from Baker, master's in education from KU, and he also has another degree in management from Baker as well. And um, he has lived in Kansas for 33 years. Um, part of that delay, though, the rest is Baldwin City. He has come in with both hands in the middle of everything. We're very excited to have him at the middle school. So it's a good thing. <laughs> I'm going to skip the baby just because I'm going to. <laughs> Megan, come on out. This is Megan Bates. Megan is actually a, a hometown girl. She's been here forever and always. And she has joined us this year as our English language arts teacher in seventh and eighth grade and has taught 16 years. We've got her degree at OU. And we're so excited that her first again has come in and been very excited about being at the middle school and we're proud of her. <laughs> Patrice is also an Ottawa native and uh, we're very excited to have her. She's joined us as our librarian this year. She has received her degrees from Pitt State. Uh, she also has a master's in science and technology, education, and also library emphasis. Is that Correct. Okay. And she just comes with lots of experience. We're very excited to have her with us. She's also 16 years in education. <laughs> we have Katie Paul. And I saved her because she is just has been a firecracker. Katie is brand new to education. This is her first year. She is coming in and she's going to do 7th and 8th grade math. And if you have never met a 7th and 8th grade math kid, that you have not met again at all. So she is amazing. She's going to do great things with them. She has received the, uh, what do they call that? The Teacher of Promise Award from Emporia. It's delivered to one student by the professors of that university, and she has been designated as someone that's going to be amazing in her field. So we are so lucky and so fortunate to have her, and she is a great, great young lady. We're very happy to have her. Max Herman is not here. He is going to be our new 7th um, seventh, seventh grade, all of 6th grade counselor. 
and he is replacing Mr. Forge, who had retired, and Matt is great. I'm guessing he is underwater right now and rolling people, so he has been busy doing that all day. So that's what we have. Thank you. Robinson from Wayne Elementary, and really, he's not underwater, underwater. <laughs> that would be a worker's comp plan. <laughs> you know, Matt, he might be. <laughs> I wanted to start by saying thank you to the Chamber. Uh, this is a great event every year for us to be able to uh, meet the new faces uh, that are joining our community. It's a good opportunity for our new staff, for us all to recognize them and for them to have a chance to get out of their classroom for a minute and breathe a little bit before the first day of school, so thank you very much. Um, we have four new staff that are joining us, and uh, some of the roles that they're taking on are new roles at Lincoln. We've added a few things to help us better prepare our kids from an early childhood standpoint and better meet some of their social emotional needs. And the first two positions will do just that. Um, Amanda Ortega will be starting her first year teaching at Lincoln Elementary. Um, she's taking on a new position as our kindergarten through second grade counselor, and she'll also be helping some with counseling services as we provide them with our new early childhood program. Um, she's coming to us after finishing an internship with the Park Hill School District and a couple years working in an autism classroom there as well. So we're thrilled to add some of her experiences to our program. <laughs> Ann Smith is also taking a new role at Lincoln. Uh, we are adding back an early childhood program. So at last check, we're adding um, 18 preschoolers in the morning and 18 in the afternoon. Uh, a kind of a mixed group of both students with identified special education needs and students who are meet at risk criteria as well as some who are paying to uh, put their kid in our school district preschool. So uh, she's got a big role in developing that program, but she's also coming to us with uh, a number of years in early childhood. She spent 15 years with the Olathe Head Start, and then her last two years um, after getting her master's in early childhood special education with the Leavenworth County uh, Co-op. So we're thrilled to be adding someone um, to take on that role who has some experience uh, with a program just like that. So uh, welcome you. <laughs> Elizabeth Pointer is, is joining us. Uh, she will be taking on our third, fourth, and fifth grade <laughs> special education uh, responsibilities. Uh, she finished her first year teaching last year with the Lawrence Public School System uh, in a similar role working with fourth and fifth graders who were unidentified um, special education plans. And so again, we're excited to add someone uh, with experiences taking on the role that should be taking on in our room as well. And Jamie Rucker is our most recent staff member that we've added. Uh, many of you will probably recognize her Agua area. Uh, she is, has accepted the position in first grade in Lincoln Elementary. Uh, she has six years of teaching experience. The, the most recent five um, are in special education with the Wellsville School District. And if you know a lot about first grade, getting some of that experience with early interventions uh, in our first grade program, we are thrilled to have her joining us um, and also hoping that she'll be able to help us um, as we introduce two new special education teachers to our building as well this year. So, welcome, Jamie. Thank you, Josh. And Amy Warmington will introduce staff from our well, Good afternoon, and that would be our Wednesday early release bells that were going off. So, hey, they work. That's a good thing. I would also like to thank the Chamber for hosting the for um, providing this for us, and we are happy to host it um, each year. We have two new staff members. To, this year we have, um, many of you probably know Donna Lawrence retired, so Lisa Bodkin is our new counselor and is anxious to get into um, the, all of the realm that counseling brings in the elementary school. Lisa comes from Lebo, the Lebo School District, and is also lives in Lebo, and, but she's um, entering her 16th year of teaching, so we're excited for all of her expertise that she has to bring to Garfield. And then our other new teacher is Caitlin Solon, who will be a fifth grade teacher this year. 
Caitlin is coming from, she lives in Garner, she's coming from the Garnet School District, and she is entering her fifth year of teaching. So we are very anxious to get the year started. We are very anxious for our construction to be done. We hope you can come back and see Garfield on our new roof. Well, you can see it from the street, but well, thank you for being here. Thank you, Amy. And Shannon Fanning from Eugene Field. I'm Shannon Fanning from Eugene Field. And this year we just have two new staff members. Um, for those of you who have been to our school before or have ever met Riley Rivers, as many of you know, the Rivers have relocated. And so we are continuing the preschool program as we're expanding throughout our district. We are continuing. We've had the program in our building for a couple of years now. And so we're continuing that program. And I am proud to introduce to you Carol Barclay. Carolyn is going to be our preschool teacher at the Early Childhood Center. She um, has graduated from K State, and this past year she did her student teaching in our files program at USD 290, and we liked her so much we hired her on. So we are super excited to have her. Um, and then I also have Kathy Winger. Um, she's probably a familiar face around town to many of you as well. Um, we had one retiree last year, and so we needed another teacher. And she will be teaching third grade. And I'm also hearing that she's also a K-State grad. Uh, and so we're very excited to have her with her. Welcome. <laughs> and that's on this down. Thank you again. Thank you. It's great to have all of you. Speak on behalf of I am the chair uh, and to speak on behalf of the hospital, but uh, I also have a co uh, board member here, John Cohen. Uh, he's also the uh, president of the Chamber of Commerce. He does a great job of that and does a great job of being board. And I didn't see any other board members here today, I think. Uh, and our, our administrative staff is here, and, and actually, it's a little bit more. I would like to introduce all of you guys, too, so please stand here. Uh, <laughs> We've got Susan Morg, our, our chief nursing operator. Uh, Brenda, stand up because you are, you're, you may not be considered an administrator, but you're certainly a vital part of the hospital. She is the head of public relations and, and uh, 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 <laughs> a dietitian, and, and, and I'm not sure what all. Anyway, it, she does a great job with that. Um, do you know Mark? He just sat down. <laughs> and he's our CFO. Pam um, Harris um, is our uh, director of the uh, outpatient clinic. And so they all do a great job there. But, <laughs> Linda Reed, the director of our laboratory there, which is, does a wonderful job too. So. Mm -hmm. um, and Bill Allegra, uh, I would say he is an expat, I guess, is what we would call him. Bill has been on the board of education, uh, <laughs> board moved, uh, Bill moved on the board of education, but uh, it's great to have him here too. He was always a great support for the hospital and still is, I know that. So, uh, with that said, uh, we don't get to introduce too many new people here uh, at the hospital, but uh, we do have, uh, we do have, have, have just had two really important people that, that uh, have become a part of this community. Uh, and a part of the hospital. And I would ask that they both come up here too. Um, uh, Dr. Sharice Simmons is our newest addition to the uh, uh, professional medical staff there. Uh, she hails from uh, actually the Emporia area. Uh, 
uh, she graduated. <laughs> she is a, she's a product of Northern Heights High School, and I just she just told me that uh, Don Duncan, and I think probably a lot of you will remember him, uh, was her high school principal. So that was uh, she has a, a uh, she is, uh, uh, has a close uh, relationship here. But another close relationship. Uh, she is the uh, sister-in-law of Cole Waymire, too. So, uh, she does have local ties here. And, uh, but anyway, uh, Dr. Simmons is uh, a, uh, the newest member of the, of the medical staff here. She is, <laughs> she is a uh, primary care provider uh, with uh, uh, and an internal uh, medicine degree. Uh, she uh, will work with Dr. Stito in the uh, uh, internal medicine clinic of Ottawa. Uh, so anyway, we are glad to have her. She uh, has, uh, her, her degree is from the uh, Kansas City University. Uh, it, yeah, okay. it, it, the, Kansas, it, the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences is the official name of it, but that is, that is where she received her, uh, her uh, uh, doctoral degree, and uh, we are glad to have her. Um, Her, her, she, is a, she is in the uh, Franklin County Annex, that, that is where the uh, uh, internal medicine clinic is. And I just want you to know that she is accepting new patients, uh, and uh, she'll be glad to hear from you. So, Therese, welcome to Ransom Memorial Hospital in the Ottawa community. And the next person that I have is, it's been a long time since Ottawa has introduced a new CEO, but uh, our new CEO is Matt Hine. He uh, came on the 1st of July, and we are looking forward to working with him uh, as the newest member of the administrative team. And he's not only just a member of the administrative team, he is, uh, I guess, where the buck stops. Uh, he, is the, he is the CEO, and uh, he, uh, it, he's just a, a great person. He's not only a good person for the hospital, but he is a good person for the, a, a good fit for the Ottawa community. I know that many of you have already met him in his short tenure here, and I would uh, encourage you, if you don't know him, that you introduce yourself to him because uh, he is, like I say, he is a, a very much a people person, but he is also, uh, uh, I, I think he will be a, a great hospital administrator. He comes with. Uh, uh, he comes with a lot of administrative experience. He started out, uh, well, his, his education came from, uh, actually, he's a test. Uh, it, uh, I don't know how many. <laughs> 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 he, uh, uh, I don't know, we didn't hold anything against him, but, but, but uh, I'm sure that he would be glad to tell you that he's a doctor. He started out, or he, his uh, graduate, excuse me, his uh, uh, undergrad. He came from the uh, University of Texas at uh, San Antonio, right? And then uh, started out as a pharmacist. He was going to compete with Bill Allager, but he saw him there and thought, well, I can't do that. So, uh, but uh, he decided that was not where he wanted to go, but he did want to stay in the healthcare field, and uh, he decided to go into healthcare administration, and we are glad that he did. But, uh, uh, and he, got his graduate degree from uh, Trinity University in San Antonio. Um, his his, uh, his uh, resume includes uh, uh, a couple of other, well, actually I think there's four other places that he uh, put his, that, that he has, has learned, along, uh, learned along the line. Uh, he started out in, actually in San Antonio uh, and from there, he went to Rangeley, Colorado as a CFO. Uh, he was recruited by the person that he worked for in San Antonio. From Rangeley, he went to Great Bend, where he was the uh, vice president and CFO of the uh, 
uh, community hospital there. And from there, he went to uh, uh, Barton, uh, excuse me, not Barton, but the uh, Pawnee Valley uh, Medical Center in Larned, Kansas. And uh, he, it, he, they actually, probably one of the nicest things that I saw there, and I even went to check it out, was uh, the new hospital. That they, put, they built a brand new 25 bed uh, critical access hospital there, and it was a, 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 a marvelous facility there. But, uh, we look forward to working with him uh, for the next bunch of years, that's for sure. So, uh, anyway, uh, I wish you would thank you very much. But <laughs> he also brings with him uh, uh, his family. They have already purchased a house here. And uh, Melinda, I'd like to be used to him. This is his wonderful wife, beautiful wife. And uh, they, also have, they also have two children, uh, two girls. Uh, Madeline, I think, is four, and Layton is two. So, anyway, there okay. we welcome this community and I look forward to working. Bill, your memory is amazing. <laughs> this is Matt Simmons. Um, so you've heard from one Matt, uh, about Matt, and you've heard of the Simmons, and I'm going to introduce you to another Matt and to another Simmons. <laughs> that is Matt Simmons. And I will tell you, uh, this is going to uh, be a little bit used to. Uh, I can tell you that personal experience. Uh, first uh, week that Matt Hine was here, he called me on the phone and says, hey, this is Matt. And I just broke it. So I'm thinking, Matt Simmons, Matt Pine. And I had to ask him, I said, oh, which, which Matt are you? <laughs> now I know his voice. Uh, anyway, uh, by the way, uh, we are so pleased, all the family physicians, that you hired Matt Hine. I've worked with him now for a couple of months, and I can tell you he's a wonderful individual, very capable, and uh, we are so pleased. You did a good job with the panel board, John. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. So anyway, Dr. Simmons, Pat Simmons, he grew up in Lamar, Missouri. And uh, since uh, no one else has talked today, I told him he didn't have to say anything. So I'm going to pair it a little bit. He liked Ottawa because it's so similar to Lamar, isn't it? So that was helpful. He graduated from Laude from the University of Missouri. And then he graduated from uh, the University of Missouri School of Medicine. We typically don't hire people from Missouri. <laughs> but I'll tell you what the tipping point was. We had all of these candidates. And so we have Dr. Spratt, Dr. Goyer, Dr. Nichols, KU, um, and uh, they like to go to the final four as we do every year. I'm kidding. <laughs> so he said, I'm from the University of Missouri, and they said, let's hire that guy. <laughs> they didn't even know his credentials, but they said, hire this guy because we want to go to the final and have somebody back here to take care of it. <laughs> he was, by the way, a common scholar on the University of Missouri School of Medicine. He also completed his residency in family medicine at the University of Kansas School of Medicine in Wichita. He was well respected by his peers. Uh, some of this uh, you don't know, but um, we did do some reference checks. Uh, he held many elective positions during his medical school years and his residency years. Dr. Gretchen Dixon, who was your program um, director, told me that patients, quote, truly love him, and he's really great with families. And by the way, she says he'll pass his words easily. And Dr. Miller, who's the medical director, and his advisor during the residency paid probably the highest compliment. This is what really, uh, really caught my eye. It, he said that, you know, on reference checks, you have to be really careful about what you say about folks. And he said, let me tell you something. If you call some other physicians, uh, you should ask two simple questions. One, would you want Matt taking care of your family? He said, my answer is definitely yes. And he said, second question is, would I want him to be a practice partner of mine? And that was, again, a resounding yes. So we were impressed with Matt's volunteer service uh, during his medical school at the local community health center 
and also he uh, was volunteering trips to Haiti and uh, Mexico. Tells a little bit about something uh, about that for sure. He's already purchased a home in Ottawa. Uh, in fact, he purchased the home before we actually signed the contract. <laughs> so we knew we had it, for sure. We are so glad that he's here. Uh, he's a great addition to our community. He will begin seeing patients on September 2nd and uh, he'll provide primary care and obstetrical services. Uh, he did more OB service than anyone I've ever seen in my many years of uh, practice management. So we're glad you're here and uh, we welcome you to Ottawa. So please welcome Matt to And Scott Schultz was the owner of, actually, the owner of Comfort Care Homes of Ottawa. He's going to introduce the story. Again, thanks to the Chamber of John and Sherry and Jeff that have come to and have just really been helpful to us and meeting people in the community, and everyone's been so friendly and nice. It's just been a real great experience. My wife and I opened Comfort Care Homes in Baltimore three years ago. And the purpose of our home is to serve people with Alzheimer's or other dementias that result in cognitive impairment. Uh, we set up a house in a residential neighborhood and provide 24-7 nursing care, just like they would receive in a nursing home. But the difference is we can provide a lot more care per person in a much smaller environment. It's just like home. We try to make our houses you know, the nicest one on the block, so to speak, and, and just to provide us some care. So, in Baldwin, we were staying pretty full after opening, and so last year we expanded the home, and we've been full uh, all through 2013, 2014. And actually, three of our residents had come from Ottawa. They were lifelong Ottawa residents, and if I mention their names, I'm sure you would recognize them, or the families that they have um, businesses here. Operator. Another really neat connection for us has been after we were open for a while, uh, there's two uh, practices, uh, physicians' practices in Baldwin, and one of them is Ransom Memorial's practice with Dr. Darrell Lowe. And Dr. Lowe was in the top, I think it was 6% of the graduating class at um, Northwestern University, so, real top notch uh, family physician. But she agreed to basically be our medical director, and most of us of our size don't really have a medical director. So it's been great to have her. She'll make house calls and wellness checks, and we just feel grateful to the hospital for allowing her to, you know, expand her practice that way. Um, so all of our residents have used her as their primary care physician. We also bring in uh, speech therapy, occupational, physical therapy spiritual services, hospice, uh, chiropractic, and dental, and several other things. So it's hard to trap when a person has Alzheimer's. And so as America has 5.4 million people afflicted, and as we age as a population, it's going to grow. So chances are almost everyone in this room is probably touched in some way by uh, that condition. We are opening uh, in October in a residential home out in Rockwood Acres. It was a home that used to be owned, they tell me, by the university's uh, president back in the day for several years. And it's about a 3,500 square foot uh, home on two acres, so we're really excited about getting it open. Uh, Wise Guys Construction here in town is, is getting it ready for us. I also want to introduce Susan Gray. Uh, Susan is our registered nurse and the director of the Baldwin Home. Uh, we were able to attract her from Stormont Vale, where she was a cardiac instructor and has about 35 years of experience and also earned an MBA from Baker. So, both in the healthcare side and the business side, she's just been a, a great addition and she'll be handling all the healthcare coordination in Ottawa. So, thanks again for your welcome to the community, for the minutes that you've given us today, your attention, and we look forward to serving you. Of Commerce and the Education and Health Committee as well, 
as well as the Community Image and Awards Committees of the Change Room for the luncheon today. Thank Sherry Lund and Rashida Oz together. She does a great job. She's right to work with. And well, thank you. for us, and then we'll turn it down here a little bit as well. And then again, to pray, start for catering it, and uh, Matt Simonson with the City of Ottawa for filming today. And just one last reminder, take your form uh, with you, nominate someone for retail service. Okay? Thank you.